Hello, ma'am. We can hear you. Please yeah, yes, yeah, you are audible. Yes, you are audible. Please tell your question. Ma'am, any offline coaching centers are available combined in the GS scientist exams? Uh, I'm not sure if they are available. I, I have prepared myself, so I uh, cannot answer that question right now. Okay, ma'am. Thank you. One well, last question, madam. Hello. Ah, yeah, yeah. Hello. Uh, for, uh, uh, how to choose the perfect uh, source book for a particular topic? If, for example, I can say fault. Uh, if, if, for example, I'm saying structural geology is concerned. If it, uh, if it discuss topic about fault, they have numerous of uh, sources. How to choose the best source for best to for particular topic? That that I'm getting confused and how to choose it also. Yeah, actually, uh, in this session, we have discussed uh, more about uh, more about the topics as well as about the books also. So, uh, the books which uh, we the uh, basic and common books which are referred uh, by uh, I think uh, by me and for, uh, by, by my colleagues also. So, on the basis of that survey only, we uh, we are showing you that books. So. And uh, for choosing the correct book, uh, you can go for the book which is which is easy to understand for you and which is uh, having uh, good knowledge and good concept uh, described there. Will uh, will the uh, next one ready? The next uh, one. Yeah, yeah. Is over. Question tomorrow. Yeah. I think there will be a question section. So email yes. to your question for tomorrow. Hold it till tomorrow. Only the next one. Next. Yeah, Next thank colleague. you. And now I'll hand over to my colleague Lebden to discuss about paper three. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Anjali. Uh, now I'll be discussing on the paper three, which consists of uh, economic geology, Indian economic deposit, and mineral economics, uh, mineral exp uh, exploration, fuel geology, and engineering geology. Hazard. Usually, this paper's uh, syllabus is quite vast, but uh, three of the papers uh, they are usually related to economic geology. So once you are acquainted with the particular topic, you can correlate, and then uh, it will be easier for you to uh, tackle this paper. And this paper also it's quite scoring comparing to other papers. So here in uh, section three, uh, paper three. The first uh, unit is economic geology. So here, uh, here are some of the questions that you may expect. Like the first one is the processes of ore formation. So they may ask about uh, the magmatic processes or they may ask metastomatism processes, metamorphic processes, or they may ask about subrigin enrichment and so on. So from this particular topic, uh, you can expect uh, a short notes or a descriptive type of question. And next one is the mode of occurrence, structural control, origin, and distribution of whether it be coal, it may be copper, lead zinc, uh, manganese, iron, or chromium deposit. So you have to go through uh, all those uh, deposits. Uh, next one is hydrothermal processes and deposit. This hydrothermal processes is quite uh, most important topics. Uh, these questions are repeatedly asked in, related to hydrothermal deposit. There are so many to topics, so you have to go to for this hydrothermal processes. You can uh, thoroughly go through uh, and make notes accordingly. And even the deposits are related to hydrothermal deposit. Also, you have to go through it. And again, next part is the relationship between ore genesis and plate tectonics with some Indian example and net sketch. So uh, this particular question you may expect in a long question, a long answer question. So uh, accordingly, you have uh, prepared for this particular topic. And another uh, important part is some uh, Kimberlite lamp profiles. Lamproid deposits of India, uranium deposits, uh, pendant iron ore formation. This question uh, me uh, ask in short type of question from this uh, unit E. So accordingly, you have to prepare. And then economic geology, uh, the previous uh, question are 
what are the hydrothermal replacement and cavity filling? Uh, the, uh, are asking about the processes involved in evolution and differentiation of magma, or sometimes they ask about specifically dependent iron ore formation of India, or genesis in relation to black tectonics, like I've, like I have discussed. This is very important topic. So. This, these are some of the questions and the books which I have referred for this particular economy geology is uh, understanding of mineral uh, deposit by Kola and for the classification of ore deposits, uh, uh, it's by uh, Batman or geology and industrial minerals by Anthony and um, for the uh, Indian ore deposit, uh, you can refer Umashya Prasad. Next one is Indian economic deposit and mineral economic. Like I've said, uh, once you are uh, Co uh, thoroughly with paper A, you can uh, correlate with this paper too. But here specifically, uh, this uh, paper is for India. So uh, from this topic, you can uh, expect the distribution of all deposits of India, like the chromite, diamond, muscovite, copper, lead, zinc, uh, tin, tungsten, coal, iron, manganese, bauxite. So this type, uh, you can expect uh, one question from this particular topic. And coming back to the next topic, that is the uh, mineral economics, you may expect uh, one question from this uh, national mineral policy and other rules, uh, Indian status in mineral production, substitution and conservation of minerals. Uh, another important topic uh, is marine uh, mineral resources and law of the sea. This particular topic, uh, they may ask you in descriptive type of questions. And here are the samples, uh, like uh, they usually ask the mode of occurrence and genesis of uh, mica belt of Chargan. Since this particular uh, section is uh, related with India, specifically for Indian economic uh, geology, uh, they usually ask about specific places. So you have to thoroughly uh, go through it. And then let zinc deposits of Rajasthan or sulfide deposits of India. Uh, and from the uh, mineral economics, they may ask about the marine mineral resources, or they may ask you like the simple question, like the difference between closed door policy and open door policy and so on. And for this particular uh, unit, uh, the books that I referred here is Mineral Exploration, Principle and Application by S.K. Halter, um, Mineral Exploration by Anthony Evans. Coming back to Section C, that is Mineral Exploration. Um, you can expect a lot of questions from here, like the stages of exploration, uh, any stages they may ask, or they may ask the full stages or the, uh, of exploration. Uh, they may even ask about geological or geochemical and geobotanical method of mineral exploration. So you can expect one question from this particular topic. And again, uh, you can also expect, uh, uh, in terms of mineral exploration, you can expect mobility and dispersion of elements in relation to mineral exploration. Uh, and then geochemical anomalies, shilling and sampling. For this drilling and sampling, uh, sometimes they ask for a long type of question, type of question. Uh, so you can you have to go thoroughly their types of drillings, uh, the various procedures, and uh, and same with the sampling. And uh, the next one is assaying or reserve estimation, categorization of all reserve. Usually from this particular topic, uh, you may expect one numericals from this particular uh, like uh, estimation of all reserve or assaying related to this particular topic. You can expect a numericals uh, from this topic. And coming back to geophysical method, uh, you can expect one question from this particular uh, uh, session that is like geophysical method, whether it be gravity, uh, they may ask about magnetic, they may ask about electrical, or they may ask about seismic, or they may ask about the old combination of various type of geo, uh, geophysical method. And here are the samples uh, from the previous uh, examination. Usually they ask about discuss the role of primary and secondary dispersion in geochemical exploration of ore, or uh, they ask about the various techniques for prospect and assaying in mineral resources, or uh, is, uh, sometimes they ask about the rotary and precaution drilling. So those are the questions uh, that they usually ask. And uh, for the books for this session is Mineral Exploration, Principle and Application by S.K. Halter, uh, Mineral Exploration by Anthony, and for the geophysical part, um, I re referred uh, Philip, coming back to section D, that is fuel geology and engineering geology. When it comes to fuel, uh, here, uh, do you usually ask about whether uh, two topic that is either coal or petroleum. So uh, when it comes to coal, you have to go thoroughly uh, about the distributions, the origins of Gondwana and tertiary coals. 
uh, sometimes the ask in short notes the material composition of coal. And when it comes to petroleum, they may ask about the origins, the store, reservoir, migration, and oil traps of petroleum. So you have to go thoroughly with it. Uh, they may ask about sedimentary basin of India. And apart from coal, uh, apart from coal and petroleum, they may even ask about uh, shale case, case hydrate, coal bed methane, and oil shale. And coming back to engineering geology, uh, uh, mass vesting is uh, the most important uh, here in this particular topic related to this what mass vesting sometimes they may ask about soil properties of engineering projects and for short notes they may ask reservoir induced seismicity also and uh here tunnel dams bridge and road uh the various procedures their construction their geological conditions all these things their considerations you have to go through uh because those four uh are being uh asked continuously from uh, previous questions. And here are some of the questions, uh, like uh, the uh, asked questions like the explain the importance of one called deposit of India, or sometimes from engineering project, uh, engineering geology, they are asking about the uh, geological examination necessary for foundation and abutment of dams. So, and for this particular topic, the books that I referred for uh, field geology are Cold Geology by Chandana, and then Elements of Petroleum Geology by Richard Sally. And then for engineering, I refer two books, that is F.G. Bell and then um, Chikrenin and Volume. And finally, uh, section C, that is environmental geology and natural hazard. Uh, this, everyone can write uh, from this particular topic. So for this uh, particular unit, you have to uh, uh, write some uh, standard type of question. You can add up some uh, recent development or recent uh, happenings uh, in around the world or related to India. So for this uh, unit, uh, you can expect uh, the climatic changes, whether it be greenhouse cases, ozone hole, depletion, acid rain, coral bleach, eutrophication. And um, they may even ask geological investigation of nuclear waste disposal site, and then uh, impact of urbanization, mining and hydro project, uh, projects. There are various types of pollution, causes and consequences of earthquakes, landslide and coastal erosion with Indian example. And another important topic from this particular uh, unit is application of remote sensing and uh, geographical system in environmental management. And here are the sample questions. Biological and toxic chemical pollutants of water. And then uh, sometimes they also ask about discuss the causes and mitigation of coastal erosion with reference to Indian context. So. And then from this particular topic, uh, the books that I've referred are Introduction to Environmental Geology by Edward, a textbook on environmental study by D.K. Ashtana and Mera Ashtana, and finally, the Environmental Geology by James Richard. So uh, these are the various topics for a pepper tree. And here are some of the tech home tips for main examination. So. Uh, before applying for examination, like my colleagues have told you, um, you have to keep on writing. You can you have to practice writing. Uh, you can go through previous year question papers and you can write it and practice it. And in that way, you can increase your writing speed. You can once you uh, start writing, uh, you can uh, learn a lot of things. So uh, accordingly, you have uh, you try to practice before giving examination. And then uh, time management. It's very important. A lot of uh, candidates. Uh, make mistakes during examination so you have to adjust the time and then while uh for uh this main examination there will be uh two session session a for uh there will be five mark question uh 10 question for five marks and another one five uh, question for 30 marks so accordingly you have to make for section a by any means you have to complete uh within 30 to 45 minutes so that in in that way you can complete the whole syllabus 
So, uh, and remaining uh, 30 marks question, you have to uh, ponder on 30 minutes, 30 minutes each. So, so that you can able to attain all the questions. And then while answering the question, you have to uh, explain, like ensure the introduction part, the body and the conclusion. And then before writing, a lot of people make mistakes, including me, uh, without going through the papers, we started writing and then, uh, in the end, uh, we lo make a lot of mistakes. And uh, in GSI examination, since we have limited time, we have to write a lot of stuff. In order to prevent that kind of mistakes, you have to go through question paper at least once for five minutes. Uh, you read the question properly. What are the things that you have to write? And then think about it. And then another important thing is use more diagrams and flowchart. Like for geology, everything has to be elaborated with a diagram. So, um, uh, if you by chance, like if you don't have uh, time to write or so in that way, you can elaborate with the diagrams. So in that way, you can get more marks like writing one pages without any diagrams and then uh, just writing and one diagram and elaborating it, you will score more marks comparing to uh, just writing one page plainly. So uh, it's better to uh, write or give a diagrams in whatever you are writing. And uh, giving a, or one important thing is uh, when you explain, you always cite an example, uh, which may be Indian related, or you can even uh, explain the uh, other uh, uh, outside Indian context as well. So these are some of the uh, tips for men. And uh, now if you have any other question, uh, you can ask. Hello, sir. Yes. Sir, I have can... some uh, queries, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, among all these areas, where I can uh, spend more time to score more marks in examination, sir? Yeah, uh, actually, um, mm, you can you can spend equal time on each papers. It doesn't mean like uh, you don't have to spend on particular paper. You have to keep equal time on every papers. But the thing is that uh, when you uh, more scoring uh, paper is paper one, uh, paper two and paper three, you will get. So, uh, while writing, you try to uh, write uh, accordingly, you try to study. Yes, sir. Uh, shall I write point wise or paragraph wise, sir? Yeah, you have to write. Uh, it will be good if you write point wise. Okay, sir. Hello, hello, sir. I'm audible. Yes. Yes, yes, you are audible. Uh, my question is about the uh, addressing the question of a uh, particular Indian mineral deposit. Like, uh, I think uh, the Indian mineral, is, Indian mineral deposit portion in the syllabus is not uh, much specified. Uh, the question has been come from like uh, some particular aspect like Jamarkotra phosphorite deposit or Eastern Guard bauxite deposit, etc. How, uh, how to address those questions? Because there is no any specific literature for that portion properly. Uh, I, I have read Evans, Anthony Evans, uh, but, but it is more about the origin of the ore, not about the in, in uh, Indian point of view, uh, it has not been written, actually. So any uh, specified material for, to address this type of question? Yeah, uh, see, for this particular type of question, um, it uh, like I've told you, uh, this paper too, uh, you need to, it will consist mostly of Indian uh, economic deposit. So for this particular topic, uh, we all know that there are some important, there are so many economic deposit in India and we cannot uh, study all the economic deposit. But one thing for sure, there are some economic deposit in India. So for that, you have to make a special uh, uh, notes for that particular topic. You can refer the previous year question, like uh, 10 years question papers and then uh, once you go through that 10 years question papers, you will get an idea that what type of question they are asking. Usually they don't, uh, uh, they will ask repeatedly, they will ask more or less the same question. So uh, you you refer to that. And then I make notes for this uh, economic geology. I make notes separately for some economic uh, as well. Yes, sir. But uh, actually, this type of uh, question for uh, such, I think, paper or uh, some uh, report. Tali, project tali, report shall I, shall I, shall I, shall I reply his question? Yes, 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 sir. Okay, for this type of 
Sir, your voice is not audible, sir. Hello? If you are written, I suppose as it is written that this box site deposits or any a particular deposit, most of the cases are available over the internet. Book, specific books you may not get because most of the foreign books do not cover this particular one. So we'll have to depend on the internet to search for your answer. He was asking for any specific book which covers the Indian. Yes, sir. Actually, there are a lot of books about the distribution the, uh, and, and some specific books about the origin of that particular book. Yes, uh, for that uh, particular uh, topic, uh, you can even go through the website of IBM. You can okay. also go and also G GSI website because GSI is doing uh, economic uh, exploration and all. So, uh, in in that particular website, you will get uh, those topics. Okay, sir. thank you. Is there any, any other query from the participants? Maybe, sorry, I am leading. Sorry to interrupt. Yeah. Okay. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. So we'll just take one question and then we'll wind it up. Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. So you may kindly ask. I heard some voice for asking question. Hello, ma'am. Yes. Sir. yes. Up to what depth we are supposed to study these deposits, like for example, bauxite or Rajasthan, up to what depth so that we can manage the answer? Uh, in, in that particular case, you have to study the uh, the geology of that particular area, their uh, source, the origins, their mode of occurrence, the mode of origins, and what type of deposit that is go through only those because if they are asking a specific type of question they won't ask for detail like 15 marks of question you will usually ask either for five marks or for 10 marks so that uh, in that particular uh, answer you can write those things okay thank you sir okay may i request the participants that tomorrow we have a dedicated interactive session to clear any of your doubts or queries, which may be related to general studies, chemistry, geology, geophysics, answer writing. So we will definitely be taking up more questions and more queries because it is a dedicated session to solve the queries. So we will be taking it up tomorrow again, we'll be here. So may I, first of all, thank our stalwarts from the geology stream who have taken out time. They are presently undergoing training. These are the newly recruited and newly joined geologists who have cleared the exam with flying colors. They have emerged as the toppers in the examination and they are here to share their expertise, their experience with you to give you guidance and suggestions. And they are at their camp at Kuju. And from there, they have connected in this e-training to share their expertise. So I express sincerest thanks to Binayak Mohanti, Ms. Anjali Upadhyay, Sri Tali Lebden Longkumar, and also Ms. Anisha Priya Khalko for their contribution in the preparation of the material and sharing of the information in a very precise, in a crisp manner. And they have, you know, gone outright to explain the queries also. I thank the entire team of Geology Stream, all four of you, Anisha, Anjali, Tali Lebden, and Binayak Mohanti, thank you all for joining from Kuju to deliver this session. Thank you so much. And I hope it was, uh, you know, excellently enjoyed by all the participants and they have got a lot of information. This session will definitely prove of immense help and utility to the aspirants who will be appearing
for the UPSC Combined Geoscientist Examination. Thank you so much. With thank this, you, we come to us. Yeah, thank you, thank you. Uh, With this, introduction session tomorrow. Ma'am, when is the introduction session uh, tomorrow? That's what. I, it, just a moment. Just a moment. So tomorrow we will start sharp at ten a.m. in the morning. So kindly join. Join the e-training link at nine forty so that we can start the session at ten a.m. It will be starting with the geophysics stream. Where the geophysicists who have been newly recruited and emerged uh, with great marks and good ranks in the examination, they will be sharing their expertise and experience how to prepare for the geophysics. After discussion of the geophysics stream, there will be discussion on answer writing skills and how to prevent certain common mistakes. During the examination, this will be in the forenoon session. The geophysics and answer writing skills. After which, there will be a lunch break. We will have another interactive session on how to prepare for the interview from another eminent speaker, Shivi Sukumaran sir, retired. Deputy Director General, Geological Survey of India, who served as a subject expert and has been a part of the UPSC board for interview or personality, is the subject specialist from geology stream. So he will be there to share your uh, and answer your queries. And after the interview skill and interactive session. Then finally, at the end, we will have an interactive session for the query resolution by the participants. These queries can be on any subject which has been taken up during this two-day virtual interactive session, either the general studies or geology, geophysics, chemistry, answer writing, any part. So we all will be there. There will be an entire panel. Of the available members who have conducted the sessions for chemistry, geophysics, geology, general studies, answer writing, interview, and they will try to answer your queries. In that interactive session, then we will have the valediction for this virtual e-training session. Okay, so this is how the things will be conducted on the second day, that is tomorrow, twenty sixth of February. 2021. With the permission from the chair, I will now be ending the today's session. The note that hopefully the entire day session have proved of immense. For becoming a part of this interactive session, I once again remind and request the participants to ensure joining the link at 9:40 or 9:45, so that we have all the participants join and we can start with the geophysics part at sharp 10 a.m. tomorrow morning. So we'll meet again tomorrow. Thank you to all. Thank you to one and all. Thank you so much and special thank you to Sri M. M. Pawar, General ADSS and Training Manager, GSI. Thank you, special thanks to Sri C.H. Venkateshwar Rao, sir, DDG and Head Mission 5, GSI Training Institute. Special thanks to Sri Vishwajit Gangopadhyay, sir, DDG for RTD and FTC. Special thanks to Dr. Bibhas Sen, Director Technical Coordination. And to all the members and speakers who have taken out time, Sri GHP Raju sir, Dr. M. Jagannath Rao sir, the members of the chemistry and the geology group for sparing time and sharing the expertise 
with the participants which has definitely proved to be of immense use as i can see from the response from the participant trainees where they are applauding the efforts by all the speakers so this training was possible 